happening, guys? Coach Matrix here from Alpha Warren Center. Today's lecture is titled Concurrent Programming, Adapting the Conjugate System for Our Athletes. So a quick overview. Concurrent programming or concurrent periodization is training all qualities simultaneously. So as you can see in our above graph, uh, we have four mesocycles um, and we have three different qualities, uh, both max effort uh, in blue, dynamic effort in red, and repeat effort in green, you can see that regardless of if we're mesocycle one, mesocycle two, three, or four, uh, we're training all those qualities equally across the board. Now, the most popular way to do this is what we call the conjugate method. It was originally built for Olympic lifting. It was modified by Louis Simmons of the Westside Barbell Crew for powerlifting. And of course, it was further adapted for athletics uh, of various natures. Uh, knowing this, we could actually format it to fit two and three day programs and accommodate both sport phases, whether they be uh, in season or off season uh, and different parts of, uh, of life. So first, let's go over the original conjugate system. Uh, as I mentioned, it was created by Westside Barbell, uh, Louis Simmons, the godfather of powerlifting. The main focus is on exercise rotation across both max and dynamic effort days. Um, and of course, the supplements or the accessories to that are chosen specifically uh, to cater to their athletes' weak points. So as you can see in the above template, we have a, gra a chart Monday through Sunday. Um, the four big days are um, the max effort lower on Monday, max effort upper on Wednesday, dynamic effort lower on Friday, and their dynamic effort upper on the Saturday. Right, so you can see by going through the chart here, right, we started the Monday, we'll do some sort of back squat or deadlift variation, working up to a 1 or 3RM, typically with accommodating resistance uh, added to the bar, right, whether it be bands or chains or a variety of both. Um, most West Siders originally are going to look to build on some sort of repetition max each and every week. And then, of course, they will supplement um, with accessories that are more pertinent to them. Again, this is just a list of common areas or focus points. However, keep in mind, it is based on an individual to individual basis. All right. Uh, their mobility day or ab day includes uh, upper back work and a high volume of accessory exercises, typically in the abdominal region. Uh, max effort upper will do the same things do max effort lower, bench press variations working up to uh, 1 to 3 RM, trying to kind of break that plateau every week. Again, using common resistance is pretty... Uh, you know, common um, standpoint. Um, usually something with tricep works, lats, um, that sort of thing. Of course, more ab work at the end. Thursday is more catered to weak areas. Uh, the reverse hyper <laughs> is to west side as, so, as powerlifting records are, right? So you'll see them doing a lot of their uh, reverse hyper work throughout the week, but it can commonly be found on Thursdays as well. And of course, you can see abs at the end as well. Dynamic effort lower and dynamic effort upper, you're typically going to see uh, back squat variations uh, done uh, with speed fashion, so 30 40% RM or higher, but most of that will be a common resistance, right? So there's still breaking plateaus in terms of percent RM. It's just, a, it's just a variation of whether it's actually bar load or modality load, right? Whether we're talking about like a common resistance load or bar load. And of course, you can see the supplements and accessories that go along with each day. And typically, there's Sundays where they'll be outside hauling sleds. All right. So again, this was uh, the more original conjugate system um, built for their power lifters. And then uh, as more and more athletes came out of West Side, they became coaches, they tended to modify that conjugate style system to better fit their athlete and environment. So we'll talk about a modified conjugate system on the next slide. So this was what we call Conjugate U. This was built by Nate Harvey. He's an ex-West Sider, uh, also an ex-coach at University of Buffalo, the strength conditioning department. Um, this, this method is actually used to train athletes of various sports throughout varying times of the year, and it can be broken up and modified as needed. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different from the original Conjugate method, as there is an inclusion of more explosive and ballistic modalities in the earlier series. So we'll kind of go through this uh, piece by piece. So... We're going to talk about the original four-day plan, right? You'll do either a max effort lower or upper on the Monday. You'll do your two dynamic effort days in the middle. So in this order, we'll do max effort lower, uh, dynamic effort upper on Tuesday. We'll do dynamic effort lower on Thursday and max effort upper on Friday. All right. So in instead of going max effort, max effort, dynamic, dynamic, the conjugate method adapted is max effort, dynamic, dynamic effort, max. Okay. So there's a first key difference. Next, you'll notice in the A series of every day, there is a jump or throw variation with a lot of choice, right? So keep in mind that we're going to focus more on what the actual series itself is, right? In the column to the left. 
and then we have different examples on the right. So for example, looking at max effort lower, uh, we have to do a combination of jumps and different reps and sets. We'll typically alternate which jump choice we do week to week, right? So we're not, we're not trying to do the same jumps we did the previous Monday. We're going to try to switch it up. The next big part of the series on max over lower will be your box squat variation. Typically trying to build to one to five RM, of course, using the appropriate warm to get there. And uh, how it's similar to conjugate is we're switching up tools, stances, and box heights week to week, right? So you might do a uh, traditional barbell box squat to 18 inch. Then the next you might use a safety bar box squat, 18 inch. Then you might do a extra wide stance box squat with a barbell, 18. Like you can see how the smallest change is the variation we're looking for. Um, you also might, instead of doing a squat variation on your max or lower, you might do a deadlift variation. Same concept, one to five around build, using different tool stances and heights. So you might start with a sumo stance. You might go conventional deadlift. You might do a rack pull, rack pull, sumo stance, et cetera, et cetera. All right, again, you're going to make that choice for your B-series um, on your program. The accessories, uh, C through F-series. Typically, we'll do uh, single leg movement, hip extension, knee flexion, abdominals. And again, you can see the exercise choices on the column to the right there. Uh, if possible, switch it week to week, or at least if you're doing your uh, between your lower days, make sure you switch them up uh, between your lower days. All right. Going to dynamic of our upper, uh, same uh, same how as we do the jumps. Our throws would be our, like your slams, your side tosses, uh, overhead throws, that kind of thing. And again, try looking for variety week to week, or at least from upper to upper days. And then our B series focus will be speed bench press variation. So the only variation we're really changing uh, is different bars and different grips. So we might do a close grip speed bench. We might do a axle bar speed bench. We might do an axle bar close grip bench, right, et cetera, et cetera. We're typically gonna work in the 30, uh, 30 to 40% RM range focusing on speed. We might add a comedy resistance when appropriate. All right, so once we get our speed bench variations out of the way, we'll go into our horizontal rows or triceps, obliques, uh, scaps and rotators, shrugs, biceps, you can see all the accessory exercises on the right here. Uh, typical volume for your accessories on dynamic effort days are going to be higher than you would find on your max effort days, simply because max effort is very taxing on the CNS. We're typically going to stick to um, five to eight rep ranges, whereas on dynamic effort days, we could pump out 10, 15, 20, to up to 100 reps or more for our accessories, depending on the intensity in which you're training at, right? So moving on to dynamic for lower, similar to our max effort, we're going to start with jumps, different choices. We're going to focus on a speed box squat variation, or you could even go to a sports squat variation. Same uh, intensity as our speed bench, 34% RM with comedy resistance as needed. We'll use different tools, stances, and heights, similar as we did with our max effort lower, right? We might use safety bars, 18-inch uh, box squat, wide stance. We might go to a more narrow stance, change the bar up. Whatever variation we can, small modification we can use, we'll add that variation week to week. And then we're going to continue on to a speed deadlift variation. So notice it's not a B choice, it's B series to C series. So right after our speed box squat, we're going to do our speed deadlift variations, 34% adding a comedy resistance as needed. Uh, same concept, different tools, stances and heights. You might do a banded speed pull from the floor, you might do a banded deficit speed pull, you might do rack speed pull, you might do sumo stance speed pull, that kind of thing. And then our accessories, again, very similar to our max or lower. The only difference is we're going to sub out uh, single leg movement, with our adductors, if we didn't get our single leg movement in on the Monday, we're going to get it in here and put our adductors on the Monday instead. So you can kind of see how this thing crisscross there. And of course, our choices of exercise samples are on the right. Lastly, our max effort upper, similar to our dynamic, we have our throws choice. And then for our B series, we're going to do our horizontal press variation. So this does not have to be strictly a bench press um, exercise. This is where we can actually use different ranges of motion, right? Um, so we can go uh, on a typical bench press, we can do close grip bench, we can do floor press, we can do uh, block presses or uh, board presses from different heights, right? We can do cambered bars so we get more of a stretch at the bottom, that sort of thing. We also do different bench angles. We can do 30 degree bench, like an incline, we can do 50 degree bench incline, we can do upwards of 45 or more. And of course, you could switch up your grips and your bars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However you need to get that variation, building up to one to five RM. And then your C series is your secondary press choice. Again, you can do horizontal or vertical, the choice is up to you. And again, similar concept, you could change uh, ranges, bars, you know, that sort of thing. Then our accessories are very similar, horizontal row, triceps, obliques, uh, shrugs, biceps, as you can see all the exercises are here on the right. Volume for our max effort upper is similar to our max effort lower, sticking to five to eight reps per set. Um, again, because it is more neurally demanding.
All right, so you can see how a four day template has a, a lot of variety because that's kind of how the contract system works and it can be very applicable to your athletic scenarios and you can make that decision as we go through the season, uh, how much volume is needed at what point of the year. So how do we modify that for two and three day training programs? If we're in season, we might only have our athletes one or two days a week. So a simple switch that we can do, right, as you can see in the yellow boxes here, uh, we might put our dynamic effort lower, combine it with our max effort upper days. So for day one, we'll do dynamic effort lower, max effort upper, and we'll focus on lower accessories. Why? Well, we know that dynamic effort lower is not as nearly demanding as max effort upper work. So therefore, we can have a little more flexibility and volume added to our lower body accessories. And then vice versa, on day two, we'll do dynamic effort upper, max effort lower, focusing on upper accessories for the same reason, right? We have a more neurally demanding lower body activity. Therefore, we're going to up the volume or upper body activity. Now, for a three-day layout, what we might do is we might do a max effort lower on day one, max effort upper on day two, and then a dynamic effort combo on day three. Right, so again, this gives us plenty of rest and so focus on the more neurally demanding work. And then we can kind of combine the volumes for our dynamic effort combo day. That is one particular option that I'm, <clears throat> that I'm personally fond of. The other option is you could cycle weekly, right? So you might do your max effort lower on day one, uh, dynamic effort upper on day two, dynamic um, effort upper on day three, and then just keep going. On day one, you go to max effort uh, upper, uh, dynamic effort, so on and so forth. So you pretty much just do the four-day template and just cycle through every week, um, switching up or moving to the right of the conjugate system, right? So again, that's how we can modify the conjugate adapted method to fit two and three-day uh, layouts. That's it for the presentation, guys. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to us, info at ironperformance.ca. Reach out to us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Click the subscribe button for the latest and greatest in strength and conditioning. Until next time, guys, take care.